Hi, everybody. It's Mark Christian of MarkChristianGallery.com. It is a uh, Friday evening, February 17th, 2023. Thanks for hanging out with me in my art studio here. We got a lot to cover tonight. I got a little unboxing. We talk about this book a little bit more. I'm done with this book, but it's a good book. It's a good book. I would recommend that people read it, particularly people that are thinking of wasting their lives, getting a degree in art, and that whether it's painting, writing, instrument, or whatever, read this book. Read this book. So anyway, real quick, if you're watching this on a video service, please think about, you know, if you like the video, like like the video. Think about subscribing to the channel, whatever service I, it's on. It could be on YouTube, Facebook, Twitch. You may see it rebroadcast on BitChute, Odyssey, Rumble. Oh, the humanity. I'm thirsty. I'm having my favorite kefir, Kelowna Supernatural. 100% organic kefir made with, uh, you know, the milk of Amish cows. Delicious. Absolutely delicious. It's got the probiotics in it because you know what? Gut health equals brain health. Mmm. I will always love that kefir. Link is in the description. You can buy that coast to coast in the United States. Tell them I sent you. Uh, we'll get to the unboxing here in just a second. This is a good book. This is a good book. I've enjoyed reading what I've read of this book. Um, he really kind of lays out. The reason I stopped reading the book is because I, I there's way too much in here about Amanda Palmer and Neil Gaiman and uh, who else? Um, Jack Conti, you know, that censor. And, uh, you know, the, the, they had that video, the Pomplemousse video, and then, then they couldn't, then no one wanted to see their, their, their music act. They just, you know, whatever. So then he ran off and did Patreon, started censoring people, which is, you know, that's, 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 <clears throat> you make a lot of money doing that in Silicon Valley, I guess, but, this is a good book because what I love about it is he, unfortunately, he goes on a little too much with the usual suspects in the uh, uh, the teens era zeitgeist, blah 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 of the of the internet era, the beginning of the censorship era of just anything, right? And I'm not talking political stuff or anything like that, but just you know, uh, drawn drawing nudes and putting them on Instagram or Facebook will get you, get you, get you, get you banned, right? We can't, oh my God, it's like, you know, what was it? The, uh, how long ago was that? 120 years ago? The, or 140 years? I don't know how long ago it was. All the, you know, they, they couldn't handle the nude model. And once again, the new, the Neo Blue Noses, of Silicon Valley, they, they can't handle it either. They've got their little AI out there looking for women's breasts and men's junk. And we cannot have an artistic variation of that whatsoever. Oh, Beauregard, fetch me my fainting couch. But this is a good book because he goes in here and he goes on and on and on. <laughs> Don't get a degree. Essentially, it's it's kind of between the lines. It's it's between the different sections in there. And it's like, essentially, don't get a degree. Do not go to... If you're in the arts, don't go to college. Don't go to college. You know what you should do? You should watch YouTube videos. That's what you should... He doesn't say that. Maybe he does say that in here. But my thing is just watch YouTube videos and learn how people do art business and do art. And what do you get from me? Listen, I always wanted to be an art teacher you know, at one point in time. and I. The title of this, I, I saw the grammatical error when it was too late here. I wanted to be an art teacher at one point in time. And guess what I am now? What's what I realized this. I'm an art teacher. I'm an art teacher. I get in here. I talk. I show off art books. I show off different kinds of art equipment. I try, you know, different things uh, almost every single night. And I'm not saying that I'm great. And I'm not saying that um, 
I'm hitting the big time or having huge amounts of sales or anything, but I'm a working artist here. Working, I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. I'm happy. I, I enjoy this time when I can come out here and, you know, talk about art and do art and just ramble. And, and nobody has to show up. Nobody has to show up. It's it's not a popularity contest. This is a good book. This is a good book here. It, you know, it, it's, it, it's high level and, you know, everybody, unfortunately, everybody is, you know, I had to read about the long tail again, please. That's fine. That's fine. I get it. You have to write this stuff. Um, but um, anyway, it's a good book. I would recommend it. I, did, I can't read any more of that. Once I read Amanda Palmer and Neil Gaiman and Jack Conti over and over and over again, like a monkey with a miniature symbol, uh, even though even though he has the he has the right answer in there and and just is good at slagging off the uh, education industry. So you, yeah, you can go out there and get uh, your your. Uh, bfa and your uh, mfa and your uh, doctorate in saxophone and everything like that wait, wait. there's no there's no job out there that's guaranteed for you there's none none well maybe i could teach <laughs> that that pyramid scheme okay well you could teach like me right good luck good luck finding a oh but oh but in elementary school they, and the grade school they've, they've cut the arts they've cut the arts to the bone yes and it now takes like you know uh, master's required, doctorate preferred to teach junior high school art? Are you kidding me? I, I see this. I see that people with doctorates teaching junior high school art. In, in, in my day, I know I could go on a rant about that, but you know what? That's a, I, I like the art teachers of my day. I liked them. They were they were, and they were mostly dudes. Mostly guys. One family guy and the other guy, well, you know. His heroes were always cowboys, if you know what I mean. And you know what? We all knew, and we didn't care. Nobody cared. That's how I remember it. No one cared. No one cared. No one cared that you had a mustache like the... Like the biker dude and the village people. No one cared. No one cared about that. Even back then, 40 some years, no one cared. Hate to break it to you. No one cared. And if somebody did, well, <laughs> they were jerk. He's a good teacher. He's a really good teacher. I got to say. Inspire me to be an art teacher, you know? Oh, this is falling apart. This is not good. Why do people want to be art teachers these days? Well, they think it's an easy job and mm, kind of crap they have to teach in school these days. Can't just can't just have somebody, you know, draw their shoes or anything like that. Teach about chiaroscuro. No, it has to be all this other stuff. Well, you can teach that other stuff. I'm here to show this off here. Now, I had problems with this yesterday. We're going to get to the unboxing here in a minute here. I'm just, I, I, I'm on a ramble here. I'm on a ramble. I think that's fine. I think that's perfectly good. Let's let's run with it here. What do you say? Let's get this mounted to. Uh, I got another one here to mount too. I had two two to mount. careful here 
It's almost like I need a uh That's good. We'll do that here. So so what I always do th these are book paintings. And if you're unfamiliar with this, uh uh I paint old damaged books. I create kind of a uh where did my scissors go? Oh, there they are. I created kind of a landscape, abstract landscape motif here. And uh, do it on book paper with acrylic ink and acrylic paint. Mount this here to a bit of cardstock with the Tyvek tape. And then uh, probably this, probably tomorrow, tomorrow's Saturday already. My God. Don't say God. Uh, yeah, that's good. I, I saved it. I saved that painting. Got another one here. Got another one here. This one turned out pretty good. I I must say. This was another one that I had to re... Um, I had to have another go around with yesterday. Snow day was yesterday. Get that on there. Get that mounted. Yeah, I had trouble with this one. It was it was uh, not good. But then I did the uh, did the cloudiness and sort of Rothko effect, and I got the nice uh, middle part there, and I. I'm, very happy with this one. So mount it to the card stock and we'll be on our way. And then we'll do the unboxing. Do the unboxing. Always wanted to, you know, for a long, a long time there, yeah, I wanted to be an art teacher. I thought that'd be kind of fun to be an art teacher, you know? Teacher, you know? Then I got into art school. And I saw where everything was going, and I decided that's a good painting. Real quick here. Real quick here. So we've got, got that one there. That was, that was yesterday. And that was yesterday, too. I like that. I like that pink. Oh, oh, I really like that one. Darkness. The words coming through, right? Oh, I really love this one, too. That's fantastic. Oh, yeah. What's not to love? Oh, my gosh. How many, how many have I got here? One, two, three, four, five. That's a whole week's worth of work. Well, I'll have six. Hopefully, I'll have six here soon. Um, yeah, went to art school. Went to art school, and then I realized, you know what? No, no, I don't want to be an art teacher. I do want to continue painting and drawing and stuff like that. And eventually I found my way back into that with um, being a recording artist. But uh, yeah, I encountered, you know, some people in the education industry when I was going to art school. And, uh, you know, I saw where the where it was all going. Where was it going? It was going to... It was going to be a slog. Look what I got here. It's the Pooley Print XL. Portable, smart, and versatile. Pooley Printer lets you print sticky notes, labels, and photos instantly via the Pooley app without worrying about ink. I already have the app, so... Um, 
comes out of Shenzhen, China, which everything comes out of these days. So I already have the original Pooley printer, and I decided that they came out with the XL, and uh, it was half off for one day. I think it was Valentine's Day. Was it Valentine's Day? No, it was last week when I ordered it. Um, it was Valentine's Day sale. 50% off. I'm like, oh, I got it. I want to have the bigger. I want to have the Pooley Printer XL. Because I got plans. Not happy? Don't worry. Happy? That's awesome. So are we. Shot 15%. They always have sales. Those Pooley printer people, man, they know how to market. All right, so how do we open this box here? Let's unbox this here. Pooley print. I wonder if there's any juice in the printer right off the... Oh, hey, look at this. Here's the quick start guide. I probably should have put that in the, uh, the description that I was unboxing the Pooley printer, but... I wanted to move on from the from the um I wanted to move on from the uh the book, the art book. This is nice. It's a Chinese foam. Oh, it's so supple. Then I got this bag here that'll never be used again. That has all the uh What's that feel like? It feels like nitrile. Maybe it's latex? I don't know. Look at this fella. Compared to the... Is there a spot for a... Is there a magnetic section here? No, it's not. So this one looks like a bird. And this one looks like a printer. Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh, look, it's turning in green. It's turning. Let's get the phone out here. Let's see if I can uh, pair it up here. I think it comes with some paper, if I'm not mistaken. But I don't know here. What's the, uh, what do I need to do? It's. It was supposed to come with paper already in it, I do believe. Already got the app. Quick start guide. Well, you can't get much quicker than that. Open the app and click connect. Let's open the app here real quick. Pooley print. Pooley. So I don't want to connect with that one. I want to connect with connect. Connectable device. Oh, here it is. The L342B. Blah, blah, blah. Connecting. Pair. Let's pair. Connection successful. Eighty-two percent juice. That's good. I wonder if I could connect to them both. We're not going to do that right now. Looks like we're connected. So we're connected. And so let's, I'm going to go find an image to print off. How about me? <laughs> right? How about black? And, it's going to be black and white anyway, because, so let's go to print bold. Print density. Set paper width. Let's do large. Why not? Graphic. HD grayscale. What's that?
Hmm. I don't know if I want to make me the uh, smart filter text image. Hold on here. Image editing. It's just a second here. I thought I might have something interesting that I could. Uh... No, nah, we'll make it me. We'll make it me. I know about that. Half tone rush. Oh my gosh, what's going on there? Oh, old rugged Rushton. Let's do that. All right, bold graphic HD grayscale. What is this? HD grayscale. All right, let's uh, print it out. How's this going to go? I think it goes like this. Are you ready? Print. Printing 10%, 25%. wonder how much paper they gave me. Oh, that's a beautiful thing right there. Oh, my God. Look at this. This is, I'm kind of in love with this now. This is, this is, it, this is its own thing, right? These are good. I do love these little poorly, this big one here. This is a whole different, I'm going to turn that off there so we uh, save the battery. Oh my God, look at that. What next? Let's, uh, where do, where do you plug this in at? And then you got, there's a little roll of paper in there. It's great. And then here's where you charge it up. Let's put that in there. We'll put that off to the side. We don't need that anymore. Okay, so this is going to be... This is what we're going to mess around with tonight. Um, and I'm going to... How am I going to do this? Do I want to trim the edge? I'm going to trim the edge a little bit. Let's trim the edge. I'm going to trim the edge a little bit here. Might want to get this tape off the uh, so yeah. Well, let's bring it back here. What'd you pay for this? I paid one forty five for that. Was it one forty five? I paid one forty five for that, and it came with the free paper. And the small one here, I can't remember what I paid for that. Might have been seventy nine or so. They make a much bigger one too. It's thermal printed paper. I mean, it's essentially, it's like receipt paper. It doesn't last forever, but you can kind of make it last forever if you do things to it. And I'm just going to trim this up a little bit here. So, I mean, this looks like a kind of a, like a 1950s, you'd see that in the book, you know, in those books from like the 50s or 60s, like those those friends of Andy Warhol or whatever, you know what I mean? It, it's kind of like almost the uh, photo booth pictures, right? Don't we all love those? I mean, but you can make the small ones kind of like on the, that, but that, it's got an interesting sort of half tone. Um, thing going on. We're going to need a little bit larger piece of paper. 
but I think I can get away with a half here because what I want to do is, do I want to do that? Or do I want to do, all right, let's get this out of the way here and you out of the way as well. All right, here's what we're going to do. So this is spun bonded olefin. This is a synthetic paper by uh, DuPont, um, also known as Tyvek, Tyvek paper, but spun bonded olefin. Fantastic product I've been using for 30 years. All right. Get that here in a little bit. So. Tape this down here. This is what I'm going to have to do. What is this crap? And that stuff is on thick. Tear that off. What's he going to do? What's he going to do? All right. So what I like to do is, um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put down sort of a, just a simple backing ink wash of sorts. And I think because we're dealing with me in a leather jacket, <laughs> it's going to be a, a black ink wash backing. And the thing is, I don't need that much. So what I'm going to do, I'm just kind of buttering the edges here. All right. Spread that around. Very nice. Nope. Need to kind of God, there's an audience tonight. I can't believe it. All right. Nurse, where's the gloves? Right here. My favorite nitrile gloves from, uh, Harbor Freight. Then what I do is, because we're dealing with uh, a spun bonded olefin, you do not want to use a solvent-based glue. You want to use a starch-based adhesive. And I use Yes Paste. It's a starch-based adhesive. It will not ruin. It will not ruin the Tyvek. Tyvek is very, very sensitive to um, uh, petroleum and other uh, chemical adhesives. It has no problem with, uh, I just creased it there. Well, we'll see what happens. All right. So I'm just going to butter the back there a little bit. Drop that down there. <laughs> this goofy. Oh my God, I'm having so much fun. Get rid of that glove there. Wipe your hands off with the... Uh, The Costco wipes. Okay, what do we got here? Let's, I think I got a little bit of a adhesive here on the top. That's okay. I touched down the edges there. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? What's next?
I'm always nervous about self-portraits, you know. How am I going to screw it up, right? How am I going to screw it up here? I'm looking for the right thing. I'm looking for the sepia. Sepia. I haven't seen you in a while, sepia. Let's let's sepia this, all right? Maybe the background. What do you think? Background? Try to do the background as sepia. I'll put the put it over here on the edge because you know it's black. It's not gonna take it. Okay, there we go. Now the this this paper is gonna um react differently than the spun bonded olefin. And that's okay. I want that. Uh, maybe I should just do the whole, let's just do the whole thing here. It'll be all right. And then like many things that I do, I kind of employ sort of a reductive technique. So you're sepia but I don't know about that yeah maybe we could kind of um let's try should I make it really bright and green what do you think play around with it right That's going to remove some of that sepia in there. Sometimes you get the... Depending on how long it's had to, to dry. Ink dries pretty fast. <laughs> kind of like... You get the hair dryer out here, right? I gotta do a little bit more. I gotta do a little bit more. What about flame orange? What if I put a little flame orange on top? What do you think? You think up top, kind of like a mid tone, but after the fact, right? Again, reductive technique here. Kind of pulling pulling that ink away. Where are we gonna go? Where are we gonna go? I think my face is finished there. I got that nice texture on there. Now what? Now what? What's next? You you can put a little you put a little paint in there. Put a little paint in there. What do you think? Oh, people have left. People have left. What are we going to do? I don't know. Maybe this is it. Just something simple like that. I don't know. I don't know about that. I kind of feel like I should... Uh, Uh, 
I, I'm thinking about let's let's continue here. I mean, I like to be lazy, but then I also like to be. Uh... Well, let's hold off on that real quick. Where's this going? I thought you had that. I thought you had it down. I don't know about that. Can we reverse it? What do you think? Let's try. What do you think? We'll find it. We'll find. Thanks for sticking around. Keep at it. You're not vanishing, you're emerging. I suddenly got very quiet here. Been rambling all night about everything and I don't think that's going to do anything, but let's wash it in anyway. I think we may be uh, near done here. Near, near done. So this isn't one that I'm going to be putting in a uh, 
something like this, but I mean, it's a, it's an example, I guess. I don't know. I think this is more something that I would, uh, I would want to photograph or scan and then turn into like a print or something like that. Maybe I think that's kind of where I'm headed with these sorts of things. So, but lots of experimenting to do lots of experimenting to do here. And this, this is the, uh, the Puli print XL, the L3 and, uh, kind of fun, kind of fun to play around with these things. So anyway, 40 minutes. Oh my God. Uh, anyway, that's it for this evening here. Uh, my website is markrushtongallery.com. Sign up for my mailing list. Check out the links in the description below. I've got playlists. I've got music. I got all sorts of stuff. Uh, and I'm here most nights. I've got a lot of videos out there. And look, doing art every single day. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? Art is a lifestyle. Right? Just because you made something doesn't mean, you know, doesn't mean anything. Art is a lifestyle. Right? I don't, when I turn 65, I'm not going to retire from doing art. You know, if I'm old and laying down on the couch because something's the matter, uh, I'm going to be making stuff. Why not? Talk to you later.